Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Technia TV. I, Hanisha, from Technia Institute of Advanced Studies. Today, my topic is mass culture, a set of cultural values and ideas that arises from common exposure of a population to the same cultural activities, communications, media, music, and art, etc. Mass culture becomes possible only with modern communications and electronic media. A mass culture is transmitted to individuals rather than arising from people's daily interactions. Mass culture tends to reproduce the liberal value of individualism and to foster a view of the citizen as consumer. The rise of mass culture is related to the development of mass society and the advent of mass media. So today as we are discussing the mass culture, it basically reproduces the liberal values that an individual has and it tells us how a citizen can become a consumer and what and how the mass culture is arised and it develops the society with the advent of the mass media. So ahead we will be talking about the mass media. So next is mass society. It refers to a society with mass culture and large scale impersonal social institutions. Even the most complex and modern societies have lively primary group social relationships. The modern network of transportation and communication is bringing various parts of mass society into frequent contacts. Thus, the mass society has aroused and enhances individuality by liberating the cognitive, appreciative and normal capacities of individuals. This way, we can say that larger elements of population have learned to value the pleasures of eye, ear, taste and touch. So now we'll be talking about the mass and its culture. The Asian society had a dictomous structure. A few powerful noble, refined, rich and educated person pursued refined and high culture. They were the ones to form superior part of the society. The remaining part of the society was fairly large in number, was powerless, ignorant, primitive, superstitious, poor and uneducated sections of the society. During the early stages of French Revolution, the rise of liberal Borghese society synchronizes with the proclamation of principle of culture and education for all to create a civilized, responsible and creative mankind. The growth of the politics of freedom and the spread of education and the later the advent of the mass media not only initiated human development on different lines but also transformed the traditional society into mass society and traditional culture into the mass culture. According to the John Stuart Mill, he pointed out formerly different ranks, different neighborhoods, different trades and professions lived in what might be called different worlds. At present, to a great degree, in the same, they now read the same things, listen to same things, see the same, go to the same places, have their hopes and fears directed to the same objects, have the same rights and liberties and means of asserting them. So according to me, the mass culture is a set of sharing ideas and behavior patterns that cross-cut socio-economic lines and subcultural grouping within a complex society. These commonly shared ideas and behavior pattern serve as a point of reference and identification for members of the society. Mass culture is also referred to as popular culture. It is that culture which flourishes, exists and is transmitted by the mass media, the classical and true folk art, on the other hand, do not depend upon mass communication for their development, transmission and existence. Thus, hereby, it lies the distinction between the relationship of mass media with mass culture and other strains of cultural heritage. It also requires distraction from life, thrills, sentimentality, from escapism, the bulk of mass culture deals in these qualities. But excessive communication tends to isolate people from one another and from real experience. Fabricated experiences are realer to them than the real ones. Also, since mass culture serves average taste, it tends to reshape all art present and present in order to meet the expectation and demands of the masses. So according, today's mass media culture is the concept which is mainly depending on our point of view and what culture means to us. Thus the term can be used positively. The mass is rabble, the uncouth, illiterate and uncultured lot, the mass is also vast, homogeneous, scattered and anonymous. But from a positive perspective, the mass is volatile, dynamic and revolutionary. 
Dennis McQuill in 1969 stated that mass culture refers to the whole range of popular activities and artifact, entertainment, music, book, films. It has been identified with the typical content of the mass media and especially with the fictional, dramatic and entertainment material which they provide. Mass entertainment is entertainment derived from the mass media of communication just such as television, radio, cinema, popular novels, newspapers and magazines. The entertainment as mass entertainment is centered as well as for the two aspects. First, the mass culture attempts to attract as large audience as possible. This appeal to many socio-economic groupings produces a heterogeneous audience. Hence, producers of mass entertainment place emphasis upon exploitation of common denominators of shared taste within the mass. And the second is, the term entertainment is meant that activity which provides pleasurable diversion irrespective of any social message or value that may be associated with it. Thus, mass culture is highly competent to entertain the mass audience and help the individual to escape the hard reality of everyday life. In this turbulent world, it provides escapism from stress and tensions. But in the process, the producers of mass entertainment ex exploit them by lowering their taste for financial gain at the expense of their time and money. They provide a heap thrills and vulgar entertainment. This damaging outcome of the spread of mass culture, its increasing use and scale, sale promotion and its fast falling standards are harming the society. So in my point of view, to conclude as a mass culture, I will say that mass communication is unique and different from interpersonal communication as it is a special kind of communication in which the nature of the audience and the feedback is different from the of interpersonal communication. It is that term which is used to describe the academic study of various means by which individuals and entities relay information to large segments of the population all at once through the mass media. A set of cultural values and ideas that arises from common exposure of a population to the same cultural ideas, communication media, music and art, etc. For watching more videos of this sort, kindly subscribe Technia TV.